Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wandering Village where we are up and going again as our great Anbu begins to roam across the world once more. It has had a little bit of a rest but we can actually tell it if it gets sleepier to lie down now and cross our fingers that it might listen to us since we have the horn blower. We can also tell it to walk, to run if it really needs to uh, and I think the running is in case we end up in a very toxic area that's actually hurting the ombu and it just doesn't know what to do and we need to get ourselves out of there as well uh, we need to go ahead and we need to make sure that we have more food for both the villagers and the ombu but I think more food for ourselves is actually a major priority because it's getting a little hard to stay ahead on the food Let's see. And it's like getting a little hard to stay ahead on the water as well because we really need a ton of water. I need more wood. I need more stone in order to get those things. So let's actually come over to the worker post and we are going to have two workers assigned, three workers even, to just construction. Then let's have four workers, if possible, assigned to transport. And we're gonna do maybe two workers on harvest. And I think we actually are like just completely exhausting our village now. Everybody is doing the best they can. I don't know if we need the horn blower just yet. So I think we'll go ahead and let this person uh, full staff required. Oh, I can't reduce the worker. Okay, we just have an official horn blower now. That's fine. Eventually, some of the things we can go ahead and research are actually like the sleep command, the eat command, learn how to give the ombu the command to eat at feeding spots so that, you know, the ombu will take care of itself. Uh, eventually, we can do things like pet the ombu. Dung collector collects dung from the ombu to irrigate the fields. Construction requires drilling into the ombu's back, which will hurt its trust in you. Oh, that's sad. You could also do compost heap. Oh my gosh. And these are not things that are going to be available in the, um, here in the demo. However, it's so interesting just to see all of the different bits. Oh, weed harvesting. Learn how to plant and harvest wheat. That might really help us out too. It's just so interesting to see just this little flavor of the demo of what we could expect for the future of the game. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I love it already. I wish it was the full thing so bad because I would just be so enchanted with all of this. All right, so we need some harvesters. Actually, that's what we need harvesters for. So worker post to harvest. Let's get a couple reduced on general, and we're going to pull up a couple on harvest. Oh, I see. I think I keep assigning and unassigning the same three people over and over and over again. Sorry, guys. Misunderstood that. All right. And then let's go ahead. This place seems to be unaffected by poisonous plants and contains some fresh ombu food. Oh, we just moved to a new spot. Look at all the ombu food. Hey, buddy. You should eat some of this. I wish I could tell him to eat some of this. Oh, is he going to eat some of this on his own? <gasps> yeah, go for it. Good job. Check that out. The Ombu is eating. Oh, thank goodness. So he's eating those gigantic, like, I almost said marshmallows. I meant mushrooms. <laughs> and he's feeding himself. Good job, friend. His hunger is definitely going down now. I'm so relieved that we haven't had to worry about any poison just yet, but thankfully it doesn't look like any is in the future either. What are mushrooms can be found here? We probably want to have a scavenger party set up pretty soon. So I probably need to go ahead. He, he could, you could have eaten more friend, but he's pretty full now. All right, we probably don't need to worry about food for him at the moment then. So I'm going to reduce having the mycologist working on growing all of that and then we're gonna work on maybe having some people harvest like everybody is so busy now I really need to get I wanted to get more water while we were still in the jungle because we went through our water really really fast but I really really need to actually snag uh, more villagers like that's kind of one of the big things we need to prioritize so to get more villagers I think I actually need the scavengers hut. Send workers out to scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. And that requires having stone slabs and that requires having some of the construction. And it looks like you have to put these people like right on the edge of, of the ombu. 
So we'll put the scavengers down here. And then I'll set that to high priority. And then add in at least one one carpenter. Oh, I don't have anybody I can add in because everybody's like, I'm busy. Stuff is happening. I will try to add in one stone cutter. And then as things like slow down a little bit, maybe we'll be able to go ahead and have people actually like show up and help out. Because I need more people. I, I'm not gonna take away anybody who is currently like farming. That sounds like a very bad idea. All right. And then we've also got the air well, a second air well that's being built. Very good, very good. Already don't have an herbalist because we're good on that. Go forth, my friends! Harvest all the things! Bring all the things together! If we had more idle people, I would tell them to go ahead and actually start, like, <laughs> making more paths. But we don't, so we're gonna be very cautious there. Wood planks and stone slabs are needed. We've got some wood planks coming on in. I don't want to use too much of the wood. Because... We only need a certain number of wood planks. So now we have two of those. Yeah, we only need so many wood planks. We only need so much stone. There we go. Yeah, these, these stone slab people are like working really hard to get this done. And look at this person. Like carrying a whole stone over their head. That has to be super duper hard. All right, so now we're up to two. Four, six. I think I just need. Yeah, that's probably enough stone actually with what everybody was carrying. Because there's four stones here. Yeah, that's plenty of stone. And then let's check in on the construction. So there's two wood planks. So I think we're almost done on wood planks too. Yeah, that should be enough wood planks because that's going to be four wood planks altogether. So we can go ahead and- oh! Decontaminator or Ombu Doctor. Let's open the research tree and check. I kind of want to work on Forester. Plants trees and chops them to make wood. Plots must be placed on grass soil. I think that would be really good. Uh, wheat harvesting might be good too. Um, I don't know what we would do with the Iron Furnace. Maybe we need like iron for the sawmill? Okay, we need sawmill at some point. And then hut. Oh, for the villagers. You know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to... Oh! Oh! Improves productivity and offers decent protection from poisonous air. Oh, that sounds really important. And then we could go ahead and deconstruct and take down these tents, which I think would be a good idea. Oh, I can't wait to see this thing all done. Look, the last little person's coming. Bring in the little load. Boom! Then we can get this... Wow, they're going so fast. Nice! So there we go. Look how cute it is. I love the little flags. And the scavenger hunt means we can go ahead and say, hey, go get some rare re poison nomads looking for a new home. Many of them are poisoned and in medical need need medical help. Oh my gosh, there's there's a bunch of sick people everywhere. How do I workers are on their way to the scavenger hut right now? Okay, so I guess you have to wait until there's people assigned here. Send out workers to sca scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. Okay, I think they're now assigned. Can I, scavenging party is ready. Can you go rescue the poison nomads? Do you have to wait till you're closer? I wanna help rescue people. We have a lot of herbs. I don't know if that counts as like, we have the herbalist. I don't think that counts as being the village doctor though. Whoa, where's my village doctor? Oh, we need more, okay, we need more planks and stuff for the village doctor. All right, I'm gonna put the village doctor right over here. And if we're about to have some sick people, we need to go ahead and get these things built again. And hopefully, like the, we'll get it done in time, we'll have to see. Because I definitely need more people if we're going to be able to get some things done. Nobody should be idle. Let's see. Work post. They are harvesters. That's general. And that's construction. Let's do general. And they'll all go do what they need to do. And meanwhile, the scouting party... 
scavenger scavenging party is ready do i have to be closer send party so we can send the wood okay so can i send the, the party over here forming expedition party gathering wood interesting expedition in progress oh i hope they get back in time oh that area looks dangerous that looks like it's poisoned we're still technically in the jungle so we should be getting a lot of water we've been using a ton of it up for the sake of um for the sake of of coming over and just like having lots and lots of beets but that's good because we need food oh my goodness all right did i ever make it i don't think i've ever made a warehouse still we oh but we did make the pantry and the pantry can store up to like 30 of different things. Got it. We're out of beets for beet soup, but we can make berry musli now, I believe. Okay. It looks like we'll actually go for the berries at the fresh berry place or maybe the closer place. I'm not sure which. Before we will go for the stuff in the pantry. So maybe it's good to have the pantry. And then how's the water? pretty damp so we are we are pulling in a lot of water and if we had more farmers we might be able to actually go ahead and farm a little bit more of this space but I think they're at maximum capacity with the beets right now all right material storage that might be really useful actually to be able to get a bit of material storage going hmm let's cut down some of these trees not that bush not the bush oh no, save the bush. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank goodness. So you can indeed cancel that. So you can save the bush. <laughs> I might need that. I, I don't think it's worth it for my, my berry bush people, but still. We might want somewhere to store some of this food. All right. How's our expedition party? They're scavenging. And we're about to come up on the sick people. So let's see. Nomads looking for a new home. Many of them are poisoned and in need of help. Will Ambu make it all the way in time? Let's find out. And you picked up a group of nomads. Many of them are poisoned and will die soon. Oh, so we just like scooped them up. Oh my gosh. So we have four new people. How do I? <laughs> priority, highest priority. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, stop constructing slab those those wood planks. Somebody get all the slabs over here. There's enough slabs to actually finish constructing this. So everybody get to work on this thing. This is like highest priority. Here they are. It's the sick people. Okay, so they are homeless. They're poisoned. They have bad food quality and bad house quality because they've been so sick. Oh my gosh. All right. So I also desperately am going to need a couple tents for them just temporarily. Um, oh, and we got a bunch of wood back from the party that went out. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we'll put down a couple tents. We're desperately trying to... Uh, okay, let's see. Open research tree. We got the village doctor on the way. The Unbu doctor could be on the way. The decontaminator seems like it might be pretty important. Let's actually research that because I'm beginning to worry about when we're going to run into the poison. I think it's kind of like a procedurally generating world, so you you might always like have issues running into the poison, or you might get really lucky for a little while and not have any poison. Uh, let's see, somebody construct this, please. We've got to save, save the villagers. Go, 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 go. All right, so there's that. And now we have the village doctor so there's a village doctor and so there's their residency going to the herbalist gathering four herbs from the herbalist excellent and there's enough work to keep everybody busy right now so then what happens look at how cute the little the little building is i love that so now they're moving to pile of stones hmm why Food variety. Okay, is it is it to come to this person? Are you gonna come heal this person? Interesting. Where's our village doctor going? Aha! And our village doctor is trying to take care of Evie. <gasps> Look at that! Excellent! Okay, so hopefully we probably only need one village doctor in the long run. 
However, it seems to be a very helpful storage full. Ooh, wow. I wonder why we're not moving. Oh, I don't think we have enough people for just transport. Whoops. Um, let's do, let's switch them to transport for a little bit. And I think our village doctors, yes, are going to go heal the people so they won't die. Woohoo! And everybody is super busy because there's just so many tasks to keep everyone quite occupied. Uh, how many more homeless people do we have? We still have four people homeless. What? Have I not researched the housing yet? I did research housing. Oh, silly me. Maybe we should go ahead and like, forget this. Like, let's actually cancel these. And then let's come over and we're gonna build a, oh, a hut. Oh, it requires the stone. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that can take care of six people. So now I need to like activate the stone again. Whoops. Stone and planks it is. All right, we'll keep one carpenter going. And then let's see if we can get this hut built. I think, is everybody like good now? Is anybody poisoned? Anybody sick? I hope there's gonna be an easier way to be able to like examine like, so anyone dying of poison around here? I think we're good right now. So just like having taken down the herbalist, uh, we'll, we'll add one person to be an herbalist now because <laughs> we like went through so many of our herb herbs. Oh, and the Ombu's eating. Ooh, and look, there's a whole bunch of like settlements. We might find more villagers from these settlements. There's also quarries, which are full of stones. Let's try sending an expedition party and seeing if they can go and visit with the other village. And maybe we can get even more villagers in here because like life on the Ombu is awesome. And then hopefully we'll take good care of the Ombu. The Ombu is sleepy. Give the Ambu a command, more commands can be researched. Give the Ambu any horn command. So let's actually have it lie down for a little while. So we blew the horn and we're like, Ambu, why don't you sleep? Ambu's not listening to us. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> it's like watching a mountain come to a stop. There! There you go, Ambu. Oh my gosh, that's so cool to watch. But will that actually make him sleep? Or is he just gonna sit there? Oh, he's yawning. Are we going down for a nap? We are, you guys! That's so cool! Oh, Ambu sleeps. That's awesome. All right, so we're gonna let the Ambu sleep while we go ahead and we get to work on building up some huts, maybe making our little area quietly more capable than it has been so far. We're doing a pretty good job, I think. I'm really proud of what we've constructed. And now we can maybe even start making like little main roads and thoroughfares. We'll just have to see as people, they're not, I, like, no idle hands in this house at the moment, but we'll just have to see as time goes on and we start moving more things around. We've got people transporting everything, putting stuff where it belongs. This is fun. I love this. Let's get our little hut built. I cannot wait to see where this is gonna take us. I just have not stopped grinning from ear to ear forever now. This is just delightful. And there we go, a little house. And that solves the homelessness issue. And now we could potentially go ahead and start adding in tons of new houses and just making our life on the back of our Ambu quite nice indeed. So guys, if you could, do please leave a like to toss a mushroom to our wonderful Ambu. And if you would like to join us and be part of our little village for more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.